we're making a documentary, eh? So it's Monday, beginning of the week, and Tuesday last week, Michael and I decided that it'd be good fun to um, film it, film what we do, and show everything behind the scenes of how we get a TV deal, how we get an international format, how we get a radio deal, how we get a publishing deal for a book, and how we build a big business brand. So that's what we're up to. And today we're on our way to James Grant. James Grant are, who are they, mate? They're the biggest, best, agency in the world probably right now so um yeah so as with all things business we are betting big and just going for it we're going to go and meet these guys we're going to go and meet pretty much the top guy right we're going to go and chat to him about how do we make all of this stuff come together and create what we believe could be a big authentic business brand for media and hopefully you guys are going to learn something on that journey on how you can take an idea and, and implement it and just get it fucking done so this is it, it's the heart of London. I guess this is, I mean, this is where everything happens. Look at it, it's amazing. You've got people like me in the back of a black cab on their way to try and revolutionize the media industry. You've got a couple of tourists over there with bright pink suitcases, walking in the piss in the rain. God knows where they're off to. London is a city that you just get this, you get this urge from that things are happening, right? People are making things happen. So this is us, eh? We're at James Grant, who are pretty much the biggest talent agency in the world. And we're starting at the top. We're gonna go in, we're gonna talk to, I think it's the chief operating officer, and we're gonna go and pitch to him that we think we've got something that can change business media across all platforms, both here in the UK and abroad. Well, that was fucking excellent. So these guys do everything. They run it like a business. So they go, what can we develop? What IP can we grab hold of and develop with content globally? So, you know, can we do a book? Can we do a podcast? Can we do a TV show? And that's exactly what I want to achieve. So the guys, they gave good messages. Who knows? But fingers crossed, we might have someone to represent me. 55 minutes into the next meeting. Cheese toasty in between. I used our cameraman, <laughs> got some healthy tuna, whereas Jamie's gone for the double cheese toasty. <laughs> hey, look, I'm on the fucking road, right? We're trying to make some money, we're busy. You gotta get you gotta eat the crap American food from Starbucks. So what's next? So the cheese sandwich is well and truly in the belly. Well, we're off to one of the biggest production companies in the world. And we're gonna go and pitch them an idea about a truly international business TV format, which actually, the only people that have really done it is The Apprentice. Dragon sen has got a bit of it with Shark Tank, but no one's really got that single brand where you don't have to change the name and it actually translates into different languages in different countries around the world. And I think that oh, we may have it. So we're not trying to get these guys to actually buy this format. Actually, we're just going and asking them for some advice. So this is a friend of a friend. And one thing I just can't do enough of is just ask people, ask people. Actually, people actually like to be asked for advice. So when people come to me and go, oh, I'm thinking of setting up a business, what do you think? I actually quite like giving them my opinion on it because people like to talk from authority. And that's what I'm doing here. And I have to tell you watching this or anyone that I speak to, it's absolutely invaluable. Fingers crossed. So tell me, what do you do with the fucking, so what do you do with them, bird of prey? We, we basically, we let them off, we uh, send them up back and forwards off of the buildings. Um, the pigeons see them, they know straight away, like, he's a predator. Um, so they basically are just like, no, this isn't a safe place to be, it's not a safe place to nest. And, um, and then there's no more mess made from pigeons around. See, you can make money from everything. This is true <laughs> proof that you can make it's, it's very true. pigeons, yeah. getting rid of pigeons in London. Let's go and see what else we can find. We've got 
We've got 34 minutes to see what other strange and weird businesses we can locate in Tottenham Court Road in the centre of London. Tottenham Court Road, centre of London. Now I grew up in London and I tell you, 10 years ago, probably not even 10 years ago, seven years ago, you walked down here, every single shop sold computers, phones, chargers. This is about how London's changing and it's changing so fast. People go on about, oh, it's tech changing the world, it's tech changing the world. Well, actually, Tottenham Court Road is a good example where tech is unchanging because there's one tech shop left. The rest of them are outdoor clothing, suitcases, Planet Organic, a Sainsbury's local. The thing is, it just evolves and, that, and it's business. It's, it's well and truly trading business in its best sense this street. It's amazing. Six months ago, I invested in a company called Rosemary Water. I love it. You should try it. And I think Planet Organic started stocking it about two weeks ago. Let's go and have a look. Here's the stuff. The power for all brains. Now, in all seriousness, look it up online. It's fucking fantastic. It's a small company going massive places globally. It's now in the UK, the US. I think we've just got it into Asia too. And it's here, Planet Organic, Tottenham Court Road. Give it a go. So this is us now. This is Fremantle TV, the giant that is Fremantle TV. A friend of mine has set this meeting up. Let's go and ask a favour. Let's go and ask them to look at the format, give us some feedback. The truth's in the pudding. We might come out of here with a, it's shit, what were you thinking? Or it's got some legs. This is what you need to do. I'm going to go and speak to them. Let me tell you, that was interesting. That was like going into Apple and trying to pitch the next idea for a smartphone. These guys are at the top of their game and they just, they tore it apart. And they were like, look, actually, you just haven't thought of this. You haven't thought of that. So then we said, okay, well, actually, do you know what? We've got another idea, but we just didn't think it was great. And we pitched it a bit raw and they love it. So they've asked us to write it up and bring it back. It just goes to show you, you just don't know. You've got to talk to the experts and actually being able to go into the best of the best and take feedback, it was just unreal. So um, unfortunately, a lot more work to do. So I'm off to write a new TV treatment. So that was a, a typical Monday. Well, actually it wasn't a typical Monday, it was bloody hard work. That was a lot of fucking work crammed into about five or six hours, but it's been a great day. Lots and lots of feedback, lots of advice. It's my turn to go home. I'm off, see you soon.